In 2022, our Navy has once again made our nation proud and advanced our security interests. This year, our Navy has sustained our deep and persistent engagement on operations and exercises with allies and partners across the region. We've protected the integrity of our borders and we've also helped our Tongan neighbours recover from a disastrous earthquake while supporting our Australian community through pandemic, floods and extreme weather events. As an island nation, we depend upon the sea for our economic and security well-being. Our Australian Navy secures the flow of energy, information and trade that maintains our national prosperity. Now more than ever, your efforts in the fleet and ashore across the people, training, sustainment, finance, strategy and capability organisations are the foundations of our ability to reinforce the rules-based global order that underwrites regional security and prosperity. As such, all Navy people are essential to meeting our obligations to our fellow Australians. I recognise that we have much more to do in demonstrating how much we value our people, not just as a workforce, but as skilled professionals protecting national peace and prosperity. We will persist in making a positive difference through the 80 initiatives across the Australian Defence Force which look after our people. With 40 of these now implemented or underway, we are making real progress. However, none of these initiatives by themselves will resolve every challenge. I continue to rely on all of you to lead and look after the people around you and to help make Navy a workplace of choice. I also know that for many, this year has been the first opportunity to reunite with family and friends after years of separation caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you to both you and your families for standing on in the face of this challenge. What we do is challenging, and it is the strength of support from our loved ones who enable us to deliver on our mission. Our power at sea is derived from strength at home. Finally, I want to acknowledge and thank our people who will be at sea or holding duties this Christmas, particularly our teams on important border protection duties, ever watchful. Your Navy shipmates will be thinking of you. 2023 will be an exciting, challenging and demanding year. We will need to be at our best. So over this December and January, I hope that many of you are able to reset and recharge. Please take care of yourselves, your shipmates and your family but be proud of what you do for our country. And I look forward to seeing you back on deck in the new year.